down to the last four. Both teams playing delightful football throughout the tournament, but who will progress to the World Cup final? It's fair to say that tension levels have been heightened as we get ready for this semi-final here at the 2022 World Cup. My name is Derek Ray, and sharing commentary with me, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And a special atmosphere for this very special contest. It's France against Morocco. Well, this could be an absolute classic. And the prize couldn't be any bigger, could it? A place in the World Cup final. Let's just hope we get two teams that want to play good football and come out and attack the opposition. This should be a good game. Firing it in. Simple save, really. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Rafael Varane plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. Kylian Mbappe plays with Ousmane Dembele out wide. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Olivier Giroud. And here's how Morocco will line up. Yassin Bounou is the goalkeeper. Nusair Mazraoui plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. Hakim Ziyech plays with Sofiane Bouffal in the wide positions. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And closed down straight away. An exciting talent who has everything a forward needs to be successful. Stuart, what are you expecting to see from Mbappe? Well, Derek, he comes into this game full of confidence because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but his general play made him the best player on the pitch by a long way. Mbappe. Well-timed tackle. Trying to really get up the opposition here. And he stopped them in their tracks. And he has options available. Making a bit of headway. And crossed in there. And a promising looking attack, but comes to nothing in the end. Tempele, real chance. And a goal! Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, but should the keeper be beaten at his near post? I don't think so. He really needs to do better in those situations. And the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Azadine Unahi. Well, as you can see, France have had much less of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Yes, and maybe another break brewing here. Sofiane Amrabat. A really sumptuous ball. No problems for the keeper. danger here as he runs at them can he play it in an alert piece of defending it might be oh no it's gone a begging well they can't miss opportunities like that what a chance to equalize oh, I couldn't quite find his teammate Foul. And the snuffing out of the cross there. And following the clearance, it will be a corner. Going short. This attack looks highly promising. Hakimi. And here's Ziyech. A chance then for the respective managers to...
Well, that's advantage France after the first 45, but plenty of time for a few twists and turns before this one is over. As you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So the ball rolling again, 2-0. Struggling to keep the ball. Buffard. But he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. An easy one for Loris. Mbappe. Amala. Sofian Amrabat. Now can they make something happen? Well, far from the ideal pass. And France finding space on the flank. Mbappe! A goal! They're absolutely racing away with this. Three to the good now. Well, there it is. It's a lovely finish. Just the right side of the post. Close, but good enough. Three goals without reply. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. Olivier Giroud. Mbappe. And here's Dembele. Well, they couldn't keep possession. Yusuf and Nesiri. And support available, but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Moving forward effectively. Oh yes, a goal! Exactly what they were looking for, and he's come up with it. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions. And then what a strike. That's hit with such ferocity. Certainly no stopping that. That's a great goal. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Just the challenge that was required. Chance to do damage. couldn't get it through that's a very fine piece of tackling Ziyech he'll be breathing a sigh of relief ball one inside he goes takes the shot and still a chance and the keeper put to the test, but he comes through it. Well, he's so sharp, isn't he? Great first save, and then the recovery. Now well, a good tackle. I just missed that little bit of attacking spark. Goalkeeper's ball. He's given it away. And now having a go, well, giving it a go in a bid to hold them back into this one. Well, they're knocking at the door here, but they need to score soon. So a personnel change then. Dembele. Mbappe. And he's through here. Ball is loose. Danger averted for now. Ziyech. 
And played in. There it is. We can say it officially now. France will be in the World Cup final. Well, that was an excellent display. The result was never in doubt, in my view. They controlled the tempo of the game. They looked threatening when they went forward. And they had the better individuals. They'll certainly fancy their chances in the final. Well, choose your descriptive word where Kylian Mbappe is concerned. Explosive is one adjective you could use, Stuart. Yeah, he'll be happy coming off the pitch. He worked hard, he was always involved in the game, and he scored a very good goal. That was an impressive performance today.